do indeed. Uh, we're gonna go look at some old cars. Uh, this lady that I know, I've been talking to, um, she's been selling some cars and they're gonna get crushed if we don't save them. Save, save. Let me get the air quotes in there for you. Yeah. <laughs> Keith and Dean are on Team Studebaker. Yeah, it's really cool. Because they showed up too late to have any choice. <laughs> we showed up way late, eh? And, Keith, uh, where Keith, were you? <laughs> because he's late, he has to drive us in yeah. the Coldsmobile. Oh, oh sweet. Nice, I know Dean's excited. <laughs> I actually haven't been for riding this car yet, so right, thank well, you. It probably doesn't smell like beer yet then, so let's <laughs> yeah. get in. So, beer Here, I gave you the address, it's up by Lindale Road, we have to remember that. Well, you're the one that's been there. I've been there once, but I was... Well, you're half cut now, so that'll work fine. Mmm, <laughs> smells hey, like beer. Good it does. approval. It smells like beer <laughs> yeah. and darts in here. Oh, darts and beer. <laughs> it's the official nice. beers and darts. company car at this point. Oh, okay. look at that one turn on the key, man. Nice. Yeah. Wow, it starts all by itself. Is yeah. this oh, AC? What? Yeah. Are you... Whoa. Check it out. Oh, Whoa. crank that shit up. And it's cold. Oh man, you're lucky. It's a, re lucky, it's a yeah. double Coldsmobile. It's cold <laughs> in the summer too. Okay, so which way? Uh, uh, north. Knows. Yeah, so we're gonna leave Scott's yard and we're gonna take a left and we're gonna take a right. We're gonna go north on. Yeah, Kutu's turn around, right. go right at the stop sign. <laughs> Keep out. That means you, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> It says there's, Keith out. Look at there's the olds in the before and auto. Oh look my! At that. The, down bar. There's a Toro in there. Toro in there, oh eh? God. Okay, where are the you can keep, keep going? going. Yeah, keep going up to the left there. Yeah. Do oh, do do. Isn't is that guy with the shotgun? Hey, there's a Honda no, no Super Cub there. Isn't that neat? I don't even. Yeah, know how much for the bike? Find out. I can find out if yeah, you like. Find yeah, find out how much for that bike. <laughs> there you go. And all the cars are here. So let's check it out, oh, yeah, guys. Yeah, there's a studio right there. Oh, the studio's front and center. Oh, my, and my buddy was here picking up a couple cars, Buicks and stuff. Oh, so yeah. There's a couple of dragged out of here, yeah. yeah oh, that dude's drag. fairly oh, complete, sorry, anyway. It's a 1955. What model do you think it is, Champion? Uh, maybe a Champion. I don't know. Yeah, it's a it's at least a Champion. It might even be a President. Cool, eh? No, it's a champion. There oh, you go. Neat. Duty champion. Oh, neat. Oh, oh cool, man. Do oh. We, do we dare? Oh, yeah, the yeah, the button not. doesn't even. I mean, if you can. I mean. No, I don't think the other. The 58 doesn't work either. But it's complete. Right? Last is good. Complete. Do we dare? Don't bend anything. No, no. Oh, careful. Six cylinder. Six bang. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well. It's not going to win V8 showdown. No. <laughs> well, that's a so pretty much for emblem. That. That's a pretty emblem. Yeah. But yeah, that's nice, that's dude. Nice. It's got all the hubcaps. Yeah, nice. tell her, tell her we'll take it. That's sweet. Well, it's got some of the hubcaps. Okay, well, I got extras at home. Oh yeah, a yellow and green. Is it oh. yellow and green? Wow, it's pretty poopy. I guess you can't bitch. Bias, uh, kids' playhouse, and wow, the pine cones. Is there a clutch pedal? Yeah, it's a stick shift, so that's good. So we can get it into neutral. That tire's garbage. What do you think? Oh, this one's hard. Okay, so we'll just if we had two tires, we'd probably get it onto a trailer pretty easily. Right on. That's a nice looking car, actually. Look at the lovely trim on that, eh? Huge chunk of trim. That's a big molding on there. Yeah, it's too bad it's so rotten because it's quite an attractive car. What do you think, Dean? Oh, I mean, it's a keeper or what? It's actually kind of neat, eh? Like yeah, I kind of like the color. I mean, I mean, I'm not forcing you to buy it, but but we gotta buy it. This I'm forcing myself. I mean, the glass is in it. The doors are on. All mm -hmm. the trim is there. It's actually certainly yeah. no worse than the '57, and cool, possibly eh? better. It hasn't been on the road since like 1969. Look at those tires, man. Those cool. tires are like classic yeah tires. those are some vintage classes. those are some classic and it's sunk right in there okay so we'll take that one yeah lovely hood ornament too how cool is that yeah. six banger students and a 58 have, buick yeah 58 oh yeah. Well, come on Derek. she's sitting here she's been here for a while the, the, dog, the sister wanted it but she said well don't worry about it but it's, it's is it really pink yeah, it's like a, it's, no, it's like a, it's a rose or what? It's a rose rose. I mean, it's kind of, we need to break, there's no wheel here. How are you going to get this thing out of here? Actually, four sedan Buick. Wow, this is cool. 
It's cool, yeah. But, you know, you can buy drivable ones of these for reasonable. Yeah. Just, yeah. These things do nothing for me. Here's a couple of, yeah. Isn't that the, uh, from the movie? Living oh. Night of the Living Dead <laughs> car? No, it was a 73 Seven. old 88. Yeah, what's this? 70. 70. It has more okay. of a flat front. Yeah. There's a, there's a... Hey, there's a 72, uh... Centurion? Centurion? Yeah. Oh, look at the big park ass. The state wagon. State wagon. Man, that's too bad that's going to get derby. Oh, is that a cop car? I don't know. It looks like one, though. Let's check it out. <laughs> Let's check it out, he said. Yeah. Watch your step. I almost tripped. <laughs> it is oh, a Newport, name. but it's oh, not wait, a police a car. Huh? It's just... Is it a Newport? Yeah. yeah, but why has it got this police color on it? Cool, eh? Well, not really. <laughs> You're like, no, that's <laughs> cool. These cars don't do much for me. Uh, Dan, I told Dan about it. Oh no, I look, nice it's over, look, like it's painted on the emblem. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's painted this terrible color. 74 Newport or something? Yeah, that one can go to the Derby. And the Dodge is a 51 or two. Oh yeah, 51 Dodge, wow. Neat. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that's yeah you never yeah. see those. One for Barrett Jackson. Yeah, wow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you got a video of all the cars. That's yeah, cool. that's cool. This is a neat little stash. Mm -hmm. But these, I already got two of these. Yeah. And, I mean, you just, you can't do anything with them. They're just absolutely without value. I, I might buy the Galaxy. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. There's parts on it. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a pile. Of course, I'm buying this. I have obviously no fucking this willpower really, at this all. This is beautiful. Uh, this is cool. Like, it's original paint. It's straight. Wow. Well, you know, that's about all you can say. Yeah, no, it's actually... <laughs> No, I already have the worst one, and we're trying to fix it. I so. actually like that look of the Raymond Lowley front end, you know? It's a, if this was a two-door, this would be a valuable oh, car. But as a four-door, it's parts. You got room for a Studebaker? Uh, I'll, I'll make room. <laughs> You'll make room for a Studebaker? I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, C3 Galaxy. This is fun. That's kind of neat. Air cleaner has a bunch of holes punched in it for okay, some reason. Yeah, sure. So, probably a 352 automatic, eh? Big block, is that a FE block in there? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to think what the hell's in there. <laughs> well, there's some parts on it. The bumper's decent, taillights are decent. Yeah, it's not horrid, eh? But, is there 200 bucks worth of parts on it? Eh. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Because. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Okay, you buy it I'll then. I'll buy this, yeah. <laughs> It might not go cool. Yeah. You make so cool. I love this fat trim. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's why I thought it might be a higher end model, but <laughs> it does have all the nice wide trim on it. it and cute. the two tone is cute. Green, is it? What is it? Yellow and green? Yellow green, yeah. That's really cool. That's cool, yeah. Oh, yeah. This was called like a lemon lime or yeah. something they call it. Yeah. It's got a V, but a nest. Like, that's crazy, but there's no V8. There's no V8, unfortunately. But it is neat. Yeah, okay, well tell her we'll take that yeah, and okay. uh, you can buy whatever else you want. Yeah, I'll, I just have to eat transfer her for this. Alright, yeah, well yeah. that's a fun old thing. I kind of like this Dodge. Too. Better looking than the 57s anyway. Dodge is kind of sad, eh? The Dodge, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. And the Buick These things are a dime a dozen. You yeah. hate to say it, but they really are. <laughs> the engine's dismantled. Dodge. There's nothing in it that's oh, good. Yeah. Okay, great. That was fun. And there's a Lincoln in the back. Yeah, that I don't care about. I don't care about that stuff at all. Kind of three pretty easy sells here today, I guess. Yeah, that's uh, that Buick is hey. cool, eh? Buick. What do they call Dean? They call guys like Dean a lay down. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go check out the Tornado in the barn? Well, no. I like, only look at cars in the barn. Wow, I kind of like this one. It was all going pretty smoothly until the uh, prospective buyers of the property showed up and, and thought that they owned the cars. So anyway, so anyway um, yeah. that's all kind of up in the air. There's a little bit of drama, which I did not film because it would have been inappropriate. And Dean was making a very awkward situation. Worse. Uh, substantially <laughs> worse. Worse, yeah. Or, verbal diarrhea. I was kind of like, hey. You're kind of like, hey. And I'm like, this realty chick doesn't give a fuck about No, they don't the care. Bank. But we're so, going to get this car because I think it's meant to be. So we'll try to get the car short of doing anything. Soon. Wrong. 
wrong. I don't, we, did wrong. We, did, we did nothing wrong. Soon. We did nothing wrong. Soon. We did nothing wrong. Anyway. We did nothing wrong. Well, we've been waiting for today for a while, eh? Yeah, no doubt. So, uh, today we finally get a chance to stop in at our friend Derry's and uh, we're going to have a look at the uh, police car we had a quick preview of a couple weeks ago. You've known Derry a long time, eh? I have known Derry have. for 20 years. Yeah, since you guys were kids. Yeah. Yeah, I was, so. like, I was like 13 years old the first time I ever picked up the phone called Derry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, this is a, this will be a fun opportunity, uh, Derry. Uh, restoring all his own cars and doing all his own work and today we get a chance to look at his latest uh, finished car oh looks like he's got it in the garage there this is the it's a custom 500 isn't it yeah custom, 500. custom 500 so yeah. we got some fenders here for dairy and we're gonna unload those and then we'll uh, sit down we brought the uh, ram charger today because dairy's never seen it yeah so might have a quick boo hey yeah and he got it all shined up so let's do that hey we're sitting here with dairy today and Dan's here, of course, because these guys are, you know, if you watch the show more than once, you know that uh, uh, Derry and Dan collect uh, police cars. So we thought this is uh, Derry's latest uh, restoration and I've uh, been kind of waiting for a chance for what, quite a while, right, to get us all here the same day. Everybody's very busy, but uh, Derry, you know, very smartly wanted to wait till we were finished, uh, till he was finished putting it together Excellent. so that we could actually fire it up and kind of maybe we'll go around the block later or something. That'd be fun. You bet. So maybe I'll go around the block and they'll never see me again. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we were just going to ask, uh, what was the story on this? How long ago did you get it? And Dan and his brother Paul came out to uh, Reg's yard in Winterburn. That's, when would you think that would have been? We were well, we didn't have a license yet. Well, coming close to 20 years ago. Really? 20 years ago, yeah. And there was all the... That was before Reg really let anybody in his yeah, yeah. his yeah. yard. Like he was very So we picky. talk about Reg's, that's that wrecking yard where I bought the 47 Chrysler, the yep. 58 Studebaker that we're doing in the showdown. Uh, the Plaza. The black 57 Plaza, the 58 Dodge Regent uh, four-door sedan. I bought a half a dozen... Oh, the Packard from the Straight 8 Showdown. That's also oh, from Reg's sweet. shit pile, yeah? Yeah. So... Uh, Anyway, Reg had a big wrecking yard, and he had a contract or a towing contract. No, or how he, did he end up with all those old police? So what cars? I understood is him and, and another tow company in Edmonton. Yeah, they worked together for years. That was like under Cliffs, under Cliffs. What I understood, anyways, and I think most of the stuff would have ended up there. And when he and Cliff closed down, that was kind of that the was, last that was it. grumpy Dude. old men with yard yep. full of cars yard kind of guys. Yeah, yep. that's left to me and Dan now. I guess yeah. and we got to fill the yard up a little more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got a forklift at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't have one of those yet. <laughs> no, nope, Reg's yard so, back in the day, and yeah. uh, I won him over to the point where he trusted me. I yeah, could go yeah. out, and yeah. he was good. I, I bought quite a few parts off some of the wrecks. Remember yeah, down Grand in that Furies. little gully there, yeah. the Grand Furies and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he just got to the point where, yep, so what are you looking for today? And mm -hmm. so, of course, one of our main intentions was to look at the custom 500, which mm -hmm. the trees had grown up. And I've got some yeah. original pictures of that. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's in, cocooned by oh, bushes. I'd love to get a copy of some of those. And yes, that was, definitely. So when you first went into his yard, it was off to the right. So, like, there so was, was it totaled when it was fairly new or just an auction thing? Motor. Motor. Oh, spun, okay. So that's what put bearing. it in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Spun rod bearing at 52,000 miles. Yeah. Really? So, hmm. yep, got backed in there and locked up. So yep. on the this side of the car was a LTD two-door, yep. like a brome with the highway yeah, yeah, headlights yeah. jammed in. And then on the other side, the driver's side, was an Austin Mini. That's right. Dan and Paul got on each end of that Mini and... Pulled it over. Yeah. And I'm like, you can't tell Reg about this because he'd have a fit, yeah. right? So they slid it over while well, Dan was able to squeeze in, pop the hood. Yeah, the hood yeah. was latched. Yeah. So he reached in and boink, we opened up the hood. And I got pictures of that too. Yeah, Cobwebs, yeah. the original Motocraft battery still yeah, hooked really? up. Time machine under yeah. the So it was hood. not very old battery. when it was no. rolled off, like only a few years old. Well, 52,000 watts. Yeah, the so car was probably two three years year, old. Two, maybe. three years old. Two yeah. or three, max. Yeah. Max three. Original max. battery. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yeah. original yeah. battery. Just yeah. a real time machine. Yeah. So, it yeah. Was, it was, that was wild. I remember that. That was wild. Pursuit radial still on her. Yeah. the Pursuit radial. Oh, yeah. Still, still had the tires. The old cop cars, it, it's kind of one of those. I mean, I think it's gaining a little popularity. Yeah. But back yeah. then, like when we went out there, 
uh, it wasn't a big thing. Nobody yeah, was chasing nobody really, down an yeah, old police yeah. car. Like that's kind of like, what are you fixing that for? Yeah. Well, well no, I think really people. Cool. I mean, realistically, people do ask. They're like, what's with the police cars? And like, none of us have any connection to the police department, really. Absolutely, right? none whatsoever. So no, it's really just like. Well, you your dad drove them, right? Because they were cheap. Because they were cheap and they were they tough. Were, and they were cheap and they were they were, they were being a mechanical engineer. They were cheap and they were well engineered. And yeah. you, could very, you could you could do very little service to keep them on the road for yeah. a really long time. Yeah, they time. were just. Right. It wasn't like any kind of police thing. It was more just like these are the cheapest, toughest cars. And well, people have been driving old cop cars for a long time. But when you're looking for them, you look for them. It's still in police paint. Because then they were never taxis, right? Yeah. Yeah. Once they've been taxis, they kind of... Defeats the purpose, yeah. Well, you, now you're just restoring an old taxi. <laughs> yeah. And there was quite a few of those at Regis House, too. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, the the barrel taxis. What was they're, the black ones? Was it barrel or... I think they are black and green. Black and green or black and yellow? They are barrel taxis. Barrel, yeah, yeah. yeah. The dark, they were dark very green. often, yeah. And they had the barrel, and and there's a barrel and, yeah. or something on the... the yeah, they yeah, had the barrel yeah. Yep. on the roof. Yeah, that's where a lot of the sea bodies ended up. Yeah, or co-op taxi. Co-op, yeah. Reg had a 72 Polara, yeah, four-door sedan, yep. and it had been cabbed, and it was just so rough. But I've always wanted a 72 Polara, and just never, I've never come across one, four-door sedan. And uh, this thing was so tough, <laughs> it just, uh, it's not even, you got to kind of draw the line eventually, hey? Like, wow. how, how rough are you willing to go <laughs> when there's cars like this that, yeah, you know, yeah. deservedly should yeah. be. Even but you that, actually bought this how long ago? So then he wouldn't sell. No, he wouldn't sell. Went, this went on for yeah. six or seven years. I'd go out there buying parts for other stuff, and yeah, I'd yeah. mention it. Hey, and you're Ridge. restoring other cars at yeah. the time, oh, yeah. throughout this whole thing. Yeah. So, so like, I, I'd mention it. Not like you got it. nothing to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd mention it, and hey, Reg, you know, you're ready to do some dealing on that uh, that old yeah, uh, yeah. blue RCMP uh, Ford. Uh, you know, whatever. Finally, I just, I kind of shut up about it, yeah, and, yeah. and I didn't say anything. So I went out there one day to get parts or something. I bought quite a few cars, oh, yeah, yeah. complete cars. Yeah. Anyway, he pipes up and he says, oh, somebody wants to buy the air cleaner off that car that you want. And I said, what car that I want? I'm playing stupid now, right, because I'm, I'm tired of asking about it. <laughs> he says, well, that blue XRCMP Ford, the, the 460. And the air cleaner from the factory has got these two pods yeah. on the side. Well, we oh, yeah, we'll get a look at it. Take a triple yeah. snorkel. A triple snorkel air yeah. cleaner yeah, from yeah. the factory. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, well, did you sell it to the guy? Like, just the air cleaner? He goes, well, no, I thought you wanted the whole car. And I'm like, oh, so we're ready to do oh, some no, dealing, eh? Finally, yeah, yeah. And, you know, with Reg, everything started at, yeah. you know, $3,500 or, or maybe more if he knew you really wanted yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted it so bad. And when I kind of saw, oh, he's going to... You know, he's actually going to dig it out of there. And I mean, that yeah. was another story, just getting it out of there. Oh, yeah. Well, you well, saw this the yard. Well, this had been in there for 20 years. Or Decades. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at that point. Or probably, yeah. let's say, 1980 till 2012, probably. Yeah, oh, okay. So yeah, the trees around it are this big. Yeah. 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 He's got an old, like, 30 or 35 year old Husqvarna. Yeah, yeah. So he goes fired <laughs> up and something's broken on it. I forget whether it was one of the chain guides or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, Listen, I'll just go buy a new chainsaw. He's like, well, there's nothing wrong with this one. Why would I buy? Why would I want a new one? I said, it's like, it'll be a little gift. You've been good to me. I'll yeah, get yeah, you a new sure. one yeah, yeah. right now. I'll go get it. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Cause yeah. I, I'm, I've been waiting for that's years. That's right, yeah. yeah. So anyway, the chainsaw, the chainsaw won't start. You're not up. getting the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, mwah, mwah. oh. <laughs> so I ran over to uh, my Princess Auto there, and I got the parts yeah. from the Husqvarna dealer. That building's gone now. And brought them back. He fixed the chainsaw, yeah, yeah. and he went out there. And I watched him cut trees down. But of course, forklift. He had to move. Uh, I don't know a dozen units, probably, to get to oh, this one. Oh my one. god! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was buried in there quite a ways. Well, that's right. how this thing ended up then. Yep. So you bought it what in twenty? About twenty twelve, I think yeah. it came somewhere to the in yard here. Somewhere probably. in that time frame yeah, for right. sure. Right. And then it sat around. Yeah. I remember it used to sit just outside the garage here. Right? Yes. And you had a roll of them there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I took the driver's door panel off to be able to pop the lock set out. Mm -hmm. Took it to a locksmith, got a key cut for mm -hmm. it because Reg couldn't find the keys. Eh? I just put a battery in it. Didn't even put gas in it. I mm -hmm. just wanted to see if it was seized, right? Mm -hmm. So it starts cranking over while it starts up. 
It started. And it roars. The, of course, the lifters are rattling like yeah, a yeah. son of a gun, eh? And all this dust and sh stuff. It ran for about 30 seconds, and then I guess that was it for the fuel. Okay. So I went down to Brookville and uh, grabbed another pail of fuel, poured it in, and yeah, drove it around the yard like the power steering worked, the brakes yeah. worked. Yeah. But when you'd rev it up to uh, 18, 1900 RPM, you could hear. I, I wasn't sure if it was crank bearings yeah, or yeah. if it was rod bearing. Well, it ended up being a rod okay. bearing. Yeah. Up the hood there. Yeah, man. sure. Or let's let's walk around this thing a bit, just because I'll, I'll sit here all day and burn through four batteries, and yeah, then we'll yeah. be yeah, and then I'll be like, oh, we didn't film anything. <laughs> we, we, we forgot about the car. <laughs> yeah, we forgot. We started talking about junkyards and cows, and we forgot all about the car. So. Yeah. We might as well start at the business end sure. of it here, right? So Derry can walk us through some of the police. Uh, you know, probably know where the latch is better than I do. Probably right there. So this is uh, this is that air cleaner you're talking about. It's yes. Special police air cleaner. So it's got the normal oh, snout. Oh yeah, over yeah. Here. Okay, that's here. Yeah. And then these vacuum pots here. That, that was interceptor 460 only. And those literally just open a big hole in the side. Yeah, yes. you can see right here. Yeah. You lose engine vacuum. So when you step so on it. So it makes a nice sound, eh? You hear the second. Oh, that's cool. Quite yeah. pronounced. Yeah, when you walk. And around. this was an engine oil cooler, right? Yes, factory yep. with the. Factory the, oil cooler. Yep. And I think I remember when you were working on it, doesn't it have a steering cooler? Oh, that's this here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there is, you yep. go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jeez. Yeah, they can dodge it. I know the car really well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, How long did it take you to put this car together? Oh, uh, quite a few years. Yeah. So you you off and on or steady? Uh, off and on. Cause we oh, get so you do stuff in between? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I know that. Del, goes, yeah. Uh, my uh, buddy neighbor yeah. there, yeah. he used to get so, so upset with me. He's like, we're just getting going on it. Now yeah, you want to back it up. Yeah, slide some Cause, other cause he wanted or partial to get a, job in. Yeah, yeah, he wanted to get it done. Eh? Right. So, triple core rad, of course. That's Great cool. big read. Oh, yeah. It even says 460 there. It says 460 on this. Yeah, I think the. Uh, yeah, that's fun. First time I take the car out after we got the Outer Province done, and I made it Safeway and back, the battery had gone dead. So. We charged it up, Dad got it into the shop, and I said, well, let's, let's start at the voltage regulator and work our way from there, hey? Eh? Well, we couldn't find the voltage regulator. So I still had the parts car. I said, well, that's crazy. Where's the voltage regulator? So we go out to the parts car. It's right up on top of the fender here. You see it there, the little chrome box? Oh, yeah. yeah. So okay, I, yeah. there was no voltage regulator in the car. Oh, <laughs> passed out of province. Well, they don't check your charge. Sure, yeah, no, it'll still there's pass. there's no gauges. It's all idiot lights, eh? Oh, so, so it, it just wasn't just charging nothing. at all? No, it wasn't charging. So just I drove it Safeway while I rode and back yeah. on that battery. Yeah, and then it was yeah. dead. Yeah. Good and battery. That, yeah. Dan, speaking of that, is that little insert in the dash, the radio delete pad, little cheater stereo in behind there, and I put an amp uh, or a voltage gauge. So when oh, you drive, okay. you just pop that out, eh? It snaps in. What's and this uh, Dymo on the windshield building? That, that we put back on. But that would have been there. Uh, yeah. So that's like a unit number or something? Yes. Oh. And the, the, or the radio number or something. Okay, yeah. So uh, the spotlight and that revolving light, we gathered those up because they obviously they weren't on the car. Sure, take sure. all that equipment out. Yeah. But we didn't drill any additional holes in the roof. We used the, the holes that were in you the You found roof. the original holes. Yes. And so right down be. to the spotlight. Like it was, well, you can that's see there was exactly a hole. exactly where it was. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yep. So that's how we knew it was a single rotator. Oh, some okay. Of them, some of them had bars and some of them would have had this. Yes. I All love right. the on the roof spotlight they used to have. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that There's was the cool. Handle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, and it's got the zipper headliner. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, some neat. Oh, that's hey. cool. Yeah, no radio, no air conditioning, no power windows. Right. Uh, Big one. Big block. Yeah. Big block. This is a, a custom 500, they call it? Yes. Yeah, okay. It only says, if you open the passenger front door, you'll see on the, above the glove box, it says custom 500. And that's no, the only place. Yeah, there's no other place on the body that says custom Okay, 500. it doesn't say it on the, that's what I was wondering, yeah. Yep. And the, the dash was quite well preserved, sitting in Reg's yard. Look, the, there's no cracks. Wow. And uh, conventional, 
Oh, I like the delete plate has a little uh, fancy scroll work scroll, in there. Yeah, yeah. You got the and the scroll. blanked out AC vents there. Yeah, everything's blanked off as it should be. Very basic. Yeah. The seventy-four. Yeah, he's expressed in person. Yeah. Uh, babe, Look at that blanked right that out. That seventy-seven Royal Monaco. Uh, my buddy. Yeah, so I kept the label, but it's ICI, and that, like, the code doesn't mean anything to anybody anymore. I think I gave it to you. Yeah, you sent me a picture of it. Yes, yeah. and it did yep. led nowhere, though. Yep. What's the little switch underneath the throttle? That's for the roof rotator. Okay. And then the one on the other side is for the uh, spotlight. Oh, so you pull it out, and then you turn it to the right? To lock, to lock the lock throttle? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah that was okay, so you could have a fast idle while you were inside getting donuts. Well, yeah, to keep the alternator charging all yeah. the goodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, if you were sitting over inside the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's okay. neat to get the old girl back on the road. At, uh, and it drives so nice. Well, it's a it late, nice? yeah. late 70s American yeah. iron. Oh, yeah, sure, it's comfortable. So it, it just floats down the highway. Yeah. The only... The only thing that's different about this from kind of your John Q, like Grandpa's uh, 77 LTD, yeah. is when you step on it about 70, it, it, it really goes, yeah. it drops a Comes gear alive. and it, it pulls. And I'm talking for a 70s car, Yeah, it pulls hard. Pulls pretty good, eh? You yeah. have a factory rear sway bar? Yeah. Okay, Scott, you got it. Yeah, let's this see. Sway bar on this thing. Sway bar cam. Yeah. Look at Ford, Ford what, that's like an inch and a quarter sway bar. Yeah. That's gigantic. Boy, you did a great job on the exhaust. Man, yeah, does that hey. look good, hey? Yeah. It's yeah, perfect, really hey? Yeah. Another nice job at yeah. Mike's Custom there. Oh, yeah, he great. does the best work, Yeah, hey? it just looks great. He yeah. is just amazing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, years. beautiful. Is this all the original panels on the car? Uh, we changed the driver's door. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was, uh, the, it had plugged up in the bottom. And it oh, yeah, and they rusted out. it, yeah. And I believe I changed the, uh, right fender. Oh, right yeah. The fender had some major issues, too. And we had Oh, that. these fenders look like they take a year to get off. Uh, not bad, actually. No? No, not too bad. No, it's like anything. Once you get into it, I guess once you've had a couple. Yeah, find all the little mystery spots. No, that's it, eh? Pipe plate oh, dishes. Yeah. That's what was on it in Reg's yard. Yep. Yeah, it still had the dishes on yep. it too. Right? Yeah, 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 still had the dishes yeah. just sitting on the car. Oh, and I didn't finish the story about the volts regulator. So I go dig out my pictures, which I'll get you yeah. copies yeah. of. Yeah. Okay. Great. And because yeah. we took lots of good pictures under the hood. Well, there's no voltage regulator on the car in Reg's yard. So somebody took the voltage regulator out. So I restored oh, the car. It makes me sound like a real idiot, but I didn't, you know, it's like, well, <laughs> I didn't, didn't, have, well, one didn't have one before. Yeah. Right, and I always wondered. No what, extra wires or anything? Well, around. there was a red plug there, and I thought, oh, it's for an accessory. This oh, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. So right down to driving it after all, all those years through and driving with it. no voltage regulators. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the trim and everything has survived. That's yeah. the grill that was in it when you got it? No. That so actually, you found a better grill? That was an NOS grill. Oh, really? Something back in the day, 40, 50 bucks off eBay plus shipping. Sure. And nobody wanted them. Like, who's who's restoring a... Nobody. You know, no, I don't see anybody restoring. You couldn't give that stuff away for a long time. Nope. Yeah. Like, yeah. you couldn't? You couldn't? They no, were, this would have been... People were so happy. Would, it's like, oh, you want to buy it? Yeah, I'll ship to Canada. I'll ship yeah, I'll ship it to the moon. Just oh, yeah. buy it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now it's like... Try to find it, right? Try to find that stuff, okay? That's the original mat, eh? Ford had the back rubber mat. So there's a little rip in it, but whatever, it's all perfect. The rest of it's, it's perfect. It's cool to have it back on the road. Yeah. yeah. It's all back together, and it's, a, you know, we're operating. Oh, it's you, can, you can drive it, and uh, I had fun getting a windshield for this car. Because, of course, uh, who needs windshield for a 77? Uh, yeah, that's the same full thing. Full-size Ford, right? I, I waited two years to get that windshield. They did a run down in the uh, uh, U.S. somewhere. By the time I got it back up here, it was about $1,000 for that window. Back in the day, that would have been $150. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, yeah, they'd come out to your house and put it in. Yeah. I tried to call the other day for a 74, like a 74 Monaco windshield or 75 Newport Ford or sedan windshield. They don't exist here. They, don't. they, they just There's don't. Nothing. They They don't exist. <laughs>
Right, a lot of years to drive this car. That's right. I'm happy that he's here. All right. So this thing's fucking cool, man. Yeah. You wanna roll your window down, though? Yeah, you bet. Wow. So do you remember seeing this car as a kid? Yeah. At Reg's in the junkyard, eh? I remember that, moving that Austin Mini out of the way now. I completely forgot about that until he said <laughs> something. Man, that was forever ago. Oh, it's tight. Derry said to remember to punch it once it's warmed up. It's not, I don't, is it warm? No, not yet. It's not. Holy man, does this car have torque? Yeah, yeah. it's a torquey one, eh? Wow. It's cool, this is just home country for these cars, eh? Backwoods. This thing is right at home out here on the road. Or the wrong sunglasses, I should have put aviators on. Yeah, you don't have your cop glasses. I was like, I was surprised. Man, that was wow. awesome. We might have to do that again. This car drives fantastic. Yeah, nice and straight. Drives perfectly, man. Yeah. Drives perfectly. Well, this one was also parked for an engine problem, not because it was total. A lot of these would have been just rolled right off. Yeah, it's so clean inside. Oh, there's another zipper here. Yeah, dual zipper. For the yeah. Engine. Oh yeah, it's got the clamp. Derry's custom hand control shift knob, see? Well, let's uh, let's get some speeders. <laughs> that thing rips. Man, that's impressive. I did not expect it to burn a tire. I didn't. I I, I didn't like stab it. I just like kind of walked into yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's that's still really fast. That's cool. What a neat thing, I think he hey? souped it up a little yeah. bit, eh? I don't think they would burn tires when they were new. Uh, 460s are pretty torquey. Yeah, it's right? a pretty beefy engine, that's for sure. That's awesome. where Derry restores his cars and he was just spraying some uh, pale yellow this morning he said this is uh, the Edmonton City police color for uh, the early 70s it's uh, almost a, almost a beigey white color but it is I guess kind of a pale yellow and that deck lid is for this which is a uh, an AMC Matador. I forgot to ask Derry the year, but you guys can probably figure it out. It looks like about 74 or 5. Uh, Edmonton City police car. How cool is that? What do you think, hey? Yeah, the next like one on the list here. Yeah, that's so, cool too, hey? Yeah. Derry doesn't fool around. All his cars get very nicely restored. And, uh,. I don't know, we didn't show it in the garage, but Derry just bought a non-police car to restore, a Ford Thunderbird convertible. So 
He's certainly keeping himself busy. Hey, the car sickness. Hey, there's your Newport up on the wall, Dan. Yeah, from your house. Oh, that's my picture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not bad, Various cars, dairies restored and rebuilt over the years. Yeah, cool, man. That burb, look at the burb, the cutting they had to do into that. Oh, that was a major restoration, eh? Huge. Is that the one that Ron drives now? Yeah. Oh, okay. And that was Dell's truck. Yeah. Oh, I remember seeing that at the car show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good looking unit. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, in case you guys are wondering, Gary does paint all his own cars. Does all his own body work and paints them from his wheelchair. So I think that that's uh, something we should keep in mind if you think that your car is hard to fix. Or know? something isn't fair. Yeah. And this is what, number 20 of cars that Derry's restored? Like, he's well, just one the after the other. Plus all well, the, the daily drivers he does in between. Yeah. And Derry's uh, not a professional body man. Derry has a desk job and does this just for laps. And, On the uh, side, like just to, like for fun, you know? Yeah, just for fun. If you really, if your mission is to restore the weirdest cars you can, you've come to the right place. Yep. Cool. Well, that was awfully kind of Derry to show us around today. So we will get out of his way and let him get back to work. And I'd like to stop in and see how these go. And we could have a little sanding party with Derry one of these days. Yeah, we should. You know what? We should yeah, come over we here should. one of these days. We nights. should keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. Just come over and help him sand a couple cars. Cool, man. This is a cool car. But I think for those of you that are really crazy car geeks, that I was like gonna us, give you shit for not shaving, but I guess I'm. Ah, uh, did I not? I. Mm, it's not a big deal. It's a joke. I. Oh. <laughs> We're off again to get another awesome prize. You will see, actually two two neat things that we're gonna get here. Uh, That's right. But yeah, we're gonna go actually retrieve. We got the truck and the trailer hooked up. We got Tom behind us. Tom's behind us. <laughs> it's just in a supervisory capacity. <laughs> this car is so close by that we couldn't really say no. I don't yeah. really need this, but eh. Yeah. yeah. I don't, do you really need any of them? Do you really need 70 cars? Yeah, I mean, yes. yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> It's pretty neat though. Luckily I have Dean here to cheer me on. <laughs> and, and pimp the whole thing. Really. That's right, yeah I did. It's uh, all of two minutes up the road from my house, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, it really is great. It's like it's meant to be. See you guys in a second and you're gonna be super excited. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Except that we already showed it on the first oh, part of the video. Oh dude, oh dude. <laughs> okay, well. Dean, I, need little, Dean needs a continuity coach. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, starting to get ready here, guys. Okay, lower it down. Okay. Dude. Okay, so we are working on it. I think Scott would get more better tools. This we knew it was gonna be a screw around because, well, the back drums are just seized up and in a huge rut, but. Sounds like my life. <laughs> Here's where we are. Check out that humongo rut there that was in. Oh, poor Buick. Hey. Well, need that too. Well, here we are. Fuck. <laughs> once, once all this fucking happens, you can probably put a battery in it and drive it. Up. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Find out we could have just started up. Yeah, started it up and drove it home. <laughs> Could those wheels be straightened a little bit now? Uh, let me that know. That one is starting yeah, to come off. Yeah, it's starting to steer a little to the left, Dean. ta -da. I know it looks now it looks bad now, but it's gonna look good once we get her home. Yeah. <laughs> Everything looks better when it's decorating my yard, is that? That's right. Oh. Did you take the camera? I got it. Right here. Okay. Oh yeah. the this four jack's gotta get Yeah, the four jack yeah, I'll start helping. 
Okay. Maybe, give me a hand getting the ramps and shit set up. Yeah, yeah, can you imagine that, eh? <laughs> like, okay. you're, we're you're coming. We're yeah, we're coming, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, who's here now? Nobody. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Throw out your exhaust, man. You ruined you my muffler, you cock. <laughs> <laughs> You're just worried about the braking too. Yes. No, I just think I like the way it looks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cool. get this off. Jeez, the car looks so much better. Yeah, it looks good. Mm -hmm. It does look a lot better, that's for sure. It is not actually a lot better, but it looks a lot better. Mm -hmm. I just think this is really neat that you know this student with a B and even though it's on a V8 it just has a B anyways and then this so like it's just great. Looks fine. I had it ready to shut off in 18 but letter box. But once it's down, somebody's gotta stop me. Somebody stop me. I think I could probably stop you. Okay. See if I can put it in gear and Are we in neutral? Okay. Here, I'll, I'll break it for you. No, I got it. It's in gear, dude. Watch. See? Oh, well, okay. Okay. There you go. Oh, you good. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Car's coming a bit. Yep, yep. You're going that way. Straighten them out now, Scott. Straighten it, yeah. Yeah, it's... that's good. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You guys are crazy. Look at this thing. Do we have any lights? Damn it. Uh, oh, the great big one. Yeah, that's not up there anymore, is Yeah, it? I have to go get that. There we oh, have it. Is there a prison break oh, going on or what? Prison break, eh? <laughs> prison break. Check it out. Give us the tour. Forever, of my the darling. Once over. Jeez. Yeah, we did. Like, <laughs> right? She's. Oh, yeah. She's not even that. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It is pretty yeah, fucking pretty terrible, hard. actually. But that is, uh, you know, that's clearly recognizable as a 55 Studebaker with the original upholstery and doors that open now. Oh, well, I lied. No, I know. Look at that. Isn't so we ripped off the old seat covers because they were just garbage anyway. And, uh, yeah, the details detailed it up. It actually looks... Uh, Pretty presentable. That's a sweetheart. Wow, what a car, hey? Wow. Don't mind yeah. this beautiful. Yeah, it's <laughs> summertime. It's just leaving a nice ring of ash on the yeah, car. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that means the car is being enjoyed. Yeah, just like the brochure. I do like this combination on this car. Minus the red wheel, maybe. Yeah, that's not helping. You're losing some points there. We're losing points with miles of rims on there. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to... Uh, that's next, I guess, eh? Pick a couple of tires out of the classic tire oh, pin. Tire, yeah, tire shopping. Well, uh, Dean and Details and Mark gave the car a light once over, and it's uh, pretty amazing how much it came back to life. Uh, I mean, not actually to life, but it uh, looks like a car again, which is pretty amazing. We filmed it uh, the night that they finished, but it was so dark, I just thought we'd get a little better close-up of uh, some of what's left of this 55 Studebaker. Uh, all the hardware is there, but looks like kids have robbed some of the knobs off of it, but not really a deal breaker on a car like this. So, how rusty is it? Well, pretty rusty. You can see through it. Really nice door panels. Frankers gives it a thumbs up. Hey, eh? Frankers likes it. She really likes all the new cars that we get. Because they all smell different, hey? Eh? What do you think? Pass. But, uh, you know, a couple of days ago that didn't work at all. A lot of it's coming back to life. Uh, I didn't show when we got it home. We spent a couple of hours 
just going around it and cleaning all the it was all just covered in moss and leaves and crap and it really uh, really cleaned up uh, I am a big fan of these European styled 53 to 55 Studebakers some people don't like how heavy the chrome is on the 55 but I think it's actually pretty cool that is just Maybe I just like what an impressive piece of die casting that is. Everything was jet planes in 1955, so that's terrific stuff. Windshield is not even broken. As far as I know, it would fit the coupe. It is a little bit scratched. Uh, there's a wiper scratch there, but it would probably polish. Just surprising how much a car can come back from junk in just a couple of days of cleaning and little attention um, you know the thing with this car is it uh, it had been tarped unlike most of the other cars in that yard like somebody was intending to do something with this car obviously the tarp rotted away years before we got there but we saw remnants of tie wire like somebody somebody liked this car at one time and honestly if they if they hadn't made the coops you would probably label this a bit of a classic but the coupes are I mean they're very special I would love to have a uh, 55 coupe one day but you know we'll see um, yeah anyhow just wanted to see if we could get a little better view of it for you guys before the Sun went down here remnants of some really nice detail on the interiors and this was this was a midline model I was doing a little reading and I think Champion meant six-cylinder car and commander meant V8 car and uh, So this is the commander. I just love all the extra trim on it. I I Didn't know that the because I've seen a lot of champions without all this trim So I don't know if this was a Canada specific thing Strangely some Canadian models are more trimmed up than American counterparts Sometimes it's just an assembly line consideration Let's see we never got in there there we go, Hamilton. So she's Canadian made Studebaker. There's a serial number. I don't think it means anything, but G7 something, 78 or 7B, 007, whatever. This car does not solve our uh, broken V8 dilemma. Uh, I know you guys, maybe, I hope, are uh, waiting for news on the Studebaker V8. We'll be back next week with the V8 Summer Showdown. Just taking a week to uh, do a little more filming. Some pretty uh, ferocious problems we've encountered. So uh, we're, we're on it though, and uh, we're gonna put these babies together. But hope you enjoyed the Studebaker Champion uh, I was gonna say parts car, but it's not a parts car. I think we'll put it right here. That'll be fun Oh, yeah, this was at the same place as far as I know, I think it's about 1964 Honda C90 um, Yeah, it's You know, there's not enough there to restore, but it is a good parts machine Sadly, I had a couple of these and uh, I sold them years ago and uh, here along comes, of course, every part I would have needed to finish the ones I have. Nevertheless, uh, there it is. Early 60s Honda 90cc. There was a time when you would just throw these right in the scrap bin, but, um, you know, this early Japanese stuff is uh, quite attractive, and uh, they're not making any more of it. So, not really too much to share with you guys here. She's pretty junky. Pretty rusty, seized up, but couldn't let it go in the baler. Look at that, 1971. Okay, this 1937 Chevy has to go in for inspection in the morning. So, a couple things left to do. Put the horn on, put the flywheel cover on, change the oil, double check the usual bullshit. That's it. Pretty sweet. Pretty excited. Uh, I know the car is going to drive well. I'm not going to take for granted that everything will be just fine. But uh, so far so good. I think that we've 
uh, made a pretty decent car. So, got to get the seal of approval. Then we get to do all the fun stuff. Got the running board things, few things to put on. You know, and then we'll give it a little, like it's, you know, we're going to make it look a little better than this. So, but first, horn, flywheel cover, oil change. Test drive time. Horn, oil change, and guard back on. I just want to go just up and down the block and uh, just make sure it's going to be good tomorrow. So far, so good. Okay, test drive. Kind of excited for this. Better check the lights. All right, we are uh, on our way to Smitty's to get the Chevy inspected. So. Not much we can do except fill out the right forms and and uh, drop it off. I hope he enjoys the car. It'd be nice if he passed it, but of course if he doesn't, I'm sure there will be a fine and legitimate reason. So uh, always a little apprehension, you know, like handing your test in. <laughs> so uh, anyway, John is excellent, and anytime he's. Uh, you know, failed one of the cars, it's always for a totally legitimate reason, so I just hope that I dotted all the I's and etc. Oh, little traffic. Looks like they're chopping some trees down here. Car seems to be doing really nice. Uh, nice. Just love seeing all the gauges working. Temperature sitting nice at 170. Just a, yeah, just a treat. Got lucky on the weather, of course. Didn't want to drive it in the rain if I didn't have to. Uh, but uh, that was the point of fixing the wipers too, I guess. But it's kind of a fair weather car. This car probably hasn't been wet in many years, so don't want to be the guy that parks it out in the rain. So anyhow, I better just drive. Same old shit.
what? The beer wouldn't be getting so warm if you had a greasy flips beer cozy. Oh! Don't Actually, forget, I have plug one. the beer cozies. We may have slightly overstocked on the beer cozies. Just saying. Bail out a so friend help for out. 75 cents a day. <laughs> you can sponsor a starving beer can. <laughs> you probably could. And I That's could right, Sally. Out. Thanks for watching the Summer Showdown VHL. And that's kind of fun. I just kind of joined in. I've been away, sorry. But I'm back. Anyway, we are doing it. We're going to get it done. We're going to score huge. With the chicks. Awesome. All right. Right on. Cool. We're, we're gonna fuck off. Yeah. <laughs>